Yo, what's up gamer, Penix here. In this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at Zywu's 33 kills, 12 deaths uh, demo from Inferno where he eliminated OG from the Rio Major. Uh, you're gonna be learning secret tips and tricks from the French superstar himself. Things like positioning, crosshair placement, utility, all of this stuff is gonna be shown in the demo. So let's go over it from his POV. Well, unfortunately, the pistol round was cut out from the demo, but that's not a big deal. Let's see how they play the force by. Okay, so this smoke straight up and followed up with a flash. This is a half full smoke, I presume. For the smoke top banana, line yourself up with the barrel over here. Aim, as shown, at this grey part on, of the wall. Jump through for the flash. Come to the railing here. Aim at this part of the wall. Jump through. And the flash will additionally blind anyone pushing through the smoke. This is how the flash pops. They're very patient on Banana, not forcing any fights, just chilling, taking their time, waiting for the smokes to fade. Spamming a bit of car. Just clearing apps. And grouping up with his teammates. So the thing to note here that uh, they're doing actually an uh, apps pop on uh, anti eco buy. It's very unpopular to do that, because it's kind of like... It's kind of a risk. Or you can go into a stack as just as they do. So OG reads into vitality pretty well and they stack A set. Generally what is a meta uh, versus uh, versus eco is executing B. So it's kind of <clears throat> kind of a surprise to do a apps pop on an eco, on an anti-eco, but uh, OG expects it. Okay, they got an IK on Zaiwu, and I guess shit your weapons on other players. Yep, exactly. So they're counting on him to pick some nice kills here. Going for the smoke, not a bad idea. Gets an easy kill. Pretty nice reaction. He kind of expects the other guy. Yep, great crosshair placement here. So it's worth to note, guys, how Zaiwu uh, expects every single off angle. So after killing a guy here, he expects like each one of these off angles, right? So each one of these. Like this, 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 this angle is a different angle that's worth to clear, right? So after killing a guy here, you want to want to clear this angle, this angle, this angle, then like this angle. Utility flying in, banana. So basically in pro CS, there is this constant fight for banana, or at least faking that you're fighting for it. There's a little to no rounds where uh, banana is not contested. So you need to watch out uh, every single round for the enemies taking banana control, both on T and on CT side. Where in packs, sometimes people leave it out. Molotov's coming in for banana retake. And the smoke coming in. Again, great cross placement here towards sandbags. And any off angles between sandbags and the, uh, and the wall. Good cross placement, but I think uh, Zywo missed some counter strafing there. Flashing mid, just to flash off any offer, that was sticky mid. Molotoving sandbags, just being a I was still aware that someone could be close half full, so it's kind of still looking at it. No, he doubts that. Going back into this corner, still holding the angle. Spamming the smoke just, just to bait out if anyone... Yeah, exactly. Just to bait out anyone going through it. So Magis was holding it, Zaiwu was spamming it. That's super important to note. Zaiwu was spamming it on purpose, so Magis can hold it. And the city guy thinks that, you know, since he's spamming, I'm gonna push through the smoke and try to kill him as he's spamming the middle of the smoke. But yeah, Magis was ready for this very smart play from Vitality. And notice how, like, Zaiwu always has the crosshair in the next point the enemy is gonna come from. So now he can afford to run around with his knife, like even though his teammates are kind of on short, uh, as you saw, right? Like Magis was coming with the bomb on short, he's holding this angle. Zaiwu is super uh, relying on himself. He doesn't even look at the radar in this moment, I guess, because obviously no one could be long since Magis was just short, right? But he still holds that angle. And even in pro play, you're gonna see that sometimes people uh, uh, run past an angle and the other guy, like the second guy, checks the angle again, just uh, to make sure that no one was there and no one was missed. That's really common. I remember in Astralis, Zipnix was checking angles that there is basically like two of his teammates run past the angle and he still checks it, you know? Uh, just to double make sure that it's clear. 
This is a standard window flash. Just to stop the banana take a bit. Doesn't work very well, I guess, in this round. Nade in car. Standard thing. Getting flashed in banana. If you want to support your teammates uh, running through the smoke banana here. And retaking banana. Line yourself up on the railing over here. Look down. Then look at the edge of the of the roof over here. Jump through. This is another variation of the previous flash. This is how it pops. Blinds anyone going down banana. Taking control. So you can see Vitality is very aggressive on Banana and pretty much there was no round where Banana control was taken from them and it, it pans out really well. So. This is an entry flash towards side, really good. For the entry flash that Zyvo just thrown, <clears throat> look down below this window, around the height of the other window, run forward and jump through. The flash pops nicely in the middle of the site, landing any like, angles looking at banana entrance. First box got molly, Zyvo gets the entry and he pushes through the smoke. So as you can see this kind of push through the smoke, why is it possible? Because Dexter just so shot with an op, right? Zyvo killed the rifler and since the opera shot, he's probably hiding. The opera is probably hiding after he shot, right? So he's not watching that push towards city. Well, now he got spotted out, Dexter probably trying to get this kill, but he can't. Since he gets smoked off, very smart from Zaiwu not to be here and use his smoke. Even though the guy is in ruins, they still have an advantage. Like, to be honest, there's nothing he can do from ruins with all. That's really smart. Looks like a long stack with the OSPs. Exactly. Oh, very nice spray here. Gonna get one more and the ace. Let's see. Of course he does. So, it's pretty nice spray controller. Obviously, it's versus USPs, no Kevlar, but still nice. Dodging the flashes on the half wall. Pretty standard thing, just bouncing off left, right, left, right from the half wall. When you get blind, you can hide behind it. Pretty good. Keep spamming those smokes, kind of trying to fake it out for the purple that, uh, that they're not there. Apex calls him to come back. They're gonna attack B together. It's probably one guy at B now, or zero guys. Should be one player B. I assume. They're waiting for per for Orange to join them. He's watching behind because obviously they could have pushed mid now, or one of the players could have pushed mid just for info. So he's super aware of that. And now they attack B side. Taking from Banana, so the Bree can come behind if the guy is like on any weird angle. Oh, and he is Pillar. Now he's probably Dark. Oh, still Pillar. Oh, that's interesting. Waiting for the Bree to wrap around. Yep, easy kill. Planting for ruins, since ruins is cleared out by Dupri. That's very smart as well, not planting coffins. If he planted coffins here, they would put the guy. The guy could have come uh, from A, from banana. Uh, like wrap around from A to banana. And he could have killed him as he's planting. And then Dupri has 1v1, right? So planting first box, very good. Our decision here, as you expect. Smoked uh, coffins, smalling. Triple box or quad, or you call it. Cross her in the right spots. Notice how Zaiwo has the smoke just out of the mo uh, smoke. So has the cross her just out of the smoke, not on on the smoke. Again, planting for ruins. I mean, here you could actually plant. He could have actually have planted uh, coffins, but yeah, he decides to plant for ruins, which is fine. Spamming the smoke. Magis, Magis as well, right? Like, you need to notice, guys, they're playing all the time together. Magis and Zaiwu. Zaiwu is spamming, just running around. Magis is all the time, like, anti-flash. Ready for for any peaks or any flashes in, right? Oh, flash for CT for Magis, just to... Just to bait any, any aggro plays. Zaiwu goes take the bomb. Looks like they're gonna exec A. This should be a smoke for connector and it's gonna be wrap A, I guess. Three people wrapping A, one short, one up. So pretty standard threat. See one way fit, one guy's headshot. Unfortunately, Spinks didn't have a molly to molly this out in headshot, but Magus gets the kill. If your teammates are ever wrapping A and you want to support them, this here is a little combo of utility that you can do. 
Smoke over here. Line yourself up with the rag. Aim at the bottom right of the brick. Left click throw. Then you can follow it up with a flash. That is just to put some attention on yourself so people don't look at long as your teammates are wrapping. Now you're gonna clear all the close angles. I'm gonna go in the corner here, crouch, look at the dot, left click throw. This is gonna be the Molotov 4 headshot. And additionally, you, if you uh, kind of find out the lineup through the smoke, you can spam flashes over here. So flashes like this, you're gonna throw through the smoke. These flashes won't blind your teammates long, but they will blind anyone on, on site. This is how they pop if, if their enemies are holding the, the long angle. Smoking the smoke just to extinguish the molly. Very nice awareness. And he just shots him as the, as the smoke pops. He sees a glimpse of him. So that's really nice to spam there for a couple bullets. Dexter is pr pretty much shocked that it spammed like that. Still aware of banana push. So Xai was kind of hunt hunting right now. His teammates already got A side, so he can afford to do that. Gets joined by two teammates. They're probably gonna just clear the whole B side. It's still slow as he's clearing, so basically now the roles change. The CTs are like saving and defending. And then your frag is in CT. Tries to throw the smoke, but missed the smoke. So now he's gonna, th oh, he's gonna throw it again. This smoke just is to extinguish the, the close molly and kind of disrupt the banana take from the CTs. This is a really good smoke. Zaiwu has been throwing this from T-spawn from here or bouncing it from the wall. Like three variations of this smoke. Here's how to throw the extinguishing smoke on the fly. You're gonna run over here and line yourself up, line your crosshair up with the left side of the wall, then just left click throw. The smoke will bounce next to the wall over here. Any molotovs gonna get extinguished, even the molotov from here. Pretty popular nowadays. As you see, it's extinguished and it also leaves a gap for you to pick banana. Again, throwing the same smoke. This is like a must no smoke, as you can see. As you can see, <laughs> just an example of extinguishing the molly. I was throwing the smoke pretty much every round. Now lining up the molotov for cross, but already mag is through it, so... so they can take it without using Zaiwu's molly. Looks like an early execute try from Vitality. Let's see if it works out. So they're gonna go through the smoke, I assume. Okay, this flash is pretty important. So he's throwing this flash right click. So if anyone is behind the smoke, uh, he's basically gonna get blinded because th his teammate is throwing a pop flash, whereas I was throwing a second flash just in case the guy's playing anti flash. This is yeah, so near Frank gets blinded, but not well enough. Again, just throwing the same smokes. I was pretty much doing the same thing over and over, just, just doing small tweaks. So this round they just boost on the wood. They've boosted uh, a couple rounds before as well, but not doing that so often. Okay, the enemies are trying to retake banana, so Zaiwu just thinks of mulling it just to deny. Basically OG... Oh, this is a nice gap in the smoke. If you're wondering how Zaiwu knew that there is a gap in the smoke, here is the standard set of utility to retake banana. Gonna line yourself up here in the quad. Look, look as shown, jump throw, and look here, jump throw for the molly. As you can see, it looks like it burns everything, right? You walk through the smoke, you have a little gap over here. So basically, OG thought that that no, one, yeah, OG thought that no one can be there because they didn't expect that kind of gap between the smoke and Molotov. So yeah, that's how Zaiwu used it. Right, guys, this was the T side from Zaiwu. Uh, he got. Uh, 20 plus kills here on the T side, so he had insane performance. Uh, I uh, hope you guys learned a lot from uh, his positioning and his utility. As you can see, he's not doing many variations. He's just basically doing the same thing over and over, which is taking banana with Magisk, but he's just changing up some kind of utilities and some positioning. And yeah, good luck using the senior games and uh, thanks for watching. Peace.